Welcome to Storytime with Sugar. Today we're reading, If I Built a Car. Jack from the back seat and said to his dad, this car is okay, this car is not bad, but it's just a car. Nothing great, nothing grand. It's nothing at all like the car I have planned. I'll work through the night to create a design, constantly analyze, tweak, and refine. I'll study jet rockets and look at old planes, contemplate buses and zeppelins and trains to make it as smooth as, and as sleek as an eel. I'll borrow ideas from the Wienermobile. So sit back, relax, stay right where you are. It's time to reveal my spectacular car. You'll see that I've added a lot of neat things, flush fender skirts and retractable wings, three headlights up front, four taillights in back, plus two giant fins like our old Cadillac. My brand new design will be curvy and round with special jet engines that don't make a sound. I'll paint it bright colors with accents of chrome and top it all off with a plexiglass dome. I'll build a safe car just as safe as I can because safety is job number one in my plan. It may look like steel from afar you can't tell, but it's actually made of a polymer gel, a space age concoction that I just invented. So in a collision, my car won't get dented. It simply absorbs what we happen to hit and folks would be fine in the seats where they sit. Come with me now and I'll show you inside. I've put in a couch, it's comfy and wide, plus a fireplace fish tank, and here's something cool. The floor can slide open and look, there's a pool. Now step right this way to the back of the car and note the red button marked instant snack bar. Say you were hungry and wanted a treat, just press it and instantly good things to eat appear in a flash. Anything that you could please from hazelnut pudding to aerosol cheese. After you've eaten, you, you might like a nap, and Robert the robot makes napping a snap. I built him right into the back of the chair. He's out of the way. You won't know that he's there, but when you get sleepy and rise from your seat, the chair spins around without missing a beat. Robert the robot will take the controls, and he's guaranteed not to hit telephone poles. I see you're impressed with all that's inside, so start up the motor. Let's go for a ride. A car that smells good? Now that's something new, but if I build a car, that's just what I do. Inside the engine, I'll add a machine to capture the odor of burnt gasoline and change it to something more pleasing to noses like blueberry muffins or freshly picked roses. Now that we're cruising, let's head to the lake. There's no need to panic or slam on the brake. My car can do something that very few can. The fenders will float like a catamaran. We're skimming the waves and we're having a ball, but wait, hold your horses, cause that isn't all. Boating is fine till we get the urge to dive underwater. Then just hit submerge. Robert will drive as we burble about. We can see catfish and we can see trout. We might even spy the shy stickleback gar from inside our fabulous waterproof car. Last but not least, the best feature of all comes down to a button that's shiny and small. Push it and then in the wink of an eye, the car will take off. We'll be up in the sky. We'll fly over land, we'll fly overseas to Alaska, Nebraska, Bermuda, Belize, or take a vacation when things start to freeze and fly us all down to the Florida Keys. My car will be cool, my car will be keen. My car will be one big fantastic machine. The toast of the town, the cream of the crop, the bell of the ball, and the tip at the top. My car will be famous from here to Peru. If I build a car, that's just what I'd do.